Make sure you check out our new sponsor, the Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. Nobody cares if Dillian White goes over to Premier Boxing Champions or stays with Matchroom. And Eddie Hearn, we back. Good fellow Sports TV. We in the building. Appreciate everybody for checking in. One time for the one time. We grinding. Blessings to you and yours. And uh, don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hillblaze, at thehillblaze.com. Promo code goodfellow one boxing Gives you 18% on their all-natural products. 18% off, that is. Lotion, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Check the website out at thehillblaze.com. Promo code goodfellow one boxing Gives you 18% off. Both are in the description. And, um... And they try to make a big deal. And some people try to make a big deal out of this Dillian White thing. Look here, man. We in America don't care where the hell Dillian White go, okay? Us casual ca- casual fans, us hardcore fans, us purist fans, we don't care where Dillian White go. Dillian White is not going to shift the power of boxing. And nor any other fighter that doesn't want to fight the best fights. They're not going to shift the power of boxing. If Crawford went over to PBC, it wouldn't shift the balance of power unless he got in the ring with Earl Spence or Keith Thurman or Sean Porter. It would have no credence if you can have the DC and Marvel on one side, but you know, if they ain't fighting each other, you know, if we ain't getting the video game we want to see, then who who gonna buy it? You know, who wanna see it? Nobody. So at the end of the day, nobody can shift the power of boxing unless they go somewhere and want to fight the best. But Dillian White ain't in no scenarios, Dillian White in the top ten best fights to be made in boxing. In no scenario. No scenario. You can put him in the water. Nobody wants to see that above Terrence Crawford, Earl, Terrence Crawford, Earl Spence, AJ Wilder, uh, Wilder, Ter- Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury, AJ. I mean, come on. Nobody want to see it. So them trying to make Dillian White a big deal between him and Eddie Hearn and Eddie Hearn basically begging. It's sorry. It's sorry that, you know, it's a sorry state that Eddie Hearn got to beg, got to beg a peasant in the grand scheme of things to come back because he need him. You know what I'm saying? He's not even begging a pawn or a king or queen. He begging a peasant in the grand scheme of things. No disrespect to Dillian White, but Dillian White ain't a grade A fighter, bro. Dillian White is his celebrity status in the United States is, is Z status. You know, you lucky you ain't got a, 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 a letter that come after Z. We not checking for Dillian White. If Dillian White come and fight Andy Ruiz or come over and fight those Nauke Washington winner, or if he come fight Dominic Brazil, it's not going to change my life for the better, for the worse. My life is still going to be the same. My boxing life is still going to be the same. It's not a fight that I want to get up for, and I'm excited. Dillian White versus Brazil. My God, it's Christmas. It's Christmas. No, who cares this shit? Who cares? He don't shift the, 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 the balance of power at all. He doesn't. You know, so pretty much what are we talking about? You know, oh, Dillian White going. If he stay at match room, let him stay at match room and fight AJ again. I don't care. We don't care. Nobody cares. He can stay where he at. If he come to PVC, I don't care. I don't care to see him on my tube fight nobody else. Do I care to see Wilder knock him out? Eh, yeah, but it's not as satisfying as seeing him knock out AJ. Okay. You know, we getting a whole bunch of shit that we don't want. How about Terrence Crawford walk across that gun line and, and smack Earl Spence and say, let's fight? That's what I want to see. You know? You know, how about you know, Canelo and Jamal Charlo meet in the middle, middle, middle of the street and fight? This network and this divide and cocker shit is getting out of control. But it's like, dude, we, we can't even take baby steps. We can't even get Charlo and Heard in the same ring when they was undefeated. Okay? We can't even get them in the same ring. We can't get... Spence and Porter or Spence and Thurman in the same ring. So, you know, how can we think further than that? How can we overthink that, you know, and talk about Wilder and Joshua or Spence and Crawford when we can't get the basic essentials, man? We can't even get PBC fighters to be in the same pot and cook up some gumbo. We can't even get that. All, all these dudes are scary. So it don't matter who meet who in the middle of the street or who go across the street or who meet on the highway. They still ain't fighting each other. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, even if it was the fact that Earl Spence went over the top rank, what does it mean? Bob Aram still going to milk it, bro. He going to wait two years just to put him in a matchup. Excuse me, in a ring with each other. I mean, we're just talking facts, so it don't really matter. 
You know what I'm saying? It don't really matter about what Dillian White do. Dillian White is not going to shift the board of power and nor will any other fighter until they fight the best. So it ain't a knock on Dillian White. It's just me saying, like, like, what does it mean? He gonna fight Dominic Brazil. Who asked for that fight? Nobody. You know? It's not even a, he's not even in the scenario in the top five heavyweight fight because you go AJ Wilder. You go Wilder Fury, no Pacific Order. AJ Fury. That's three. Okay. Then you can go uh you know uh AJ uh 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 Miller and Wilder Miller. You can easily go that way, that route in America. You know? But hey, you know, people gonna make it a big story, and Eddie is basically begging his straight animal to come home. You know, Eddie is putting warm milk out there for a straight cat, or he's putting uh dog food out there for a straight dog to come home. You know, basically he begging Dillian White. And when you gotta beg a level a fighter of Dillian White level to come back to your stable, that just shows you how pathetic Eddie Hearn and what pathetic state Eddie Hearn is in. Point Blake, period. You know, he's begging Dillian White to come home. You know what I'm saying? That's like that's like begging the the, the stripper that you know the stripper that everybody hit at the hit at the club, the beggar to come home with you. Come on, Betty. Come on, baby. You know, you really got to beg a hoe to come home with you. Like, it shouldn't even be that hard. It should be ABC123. He's begging this type of fighter. He's begging him not to take the money from Al Heyman. I offer you four million pounds or five million pounds to come fight AJ. Now, now why didn't you just give him a good offer before? We wouldn't even be in this scenario. He came over to Vegas to talk to PVC officials to scare Eddie Hearn for leveraging more money. You know, not Eddie Hearn want to want to offer him good money. Or act like he want to offer him good money. Pay that man what he what he deserve. If not, hey, it is what it is. We not gonna we not gonna mag, we not gonna miss y'all connection. If Dillian go to Al Heyman and he want to go over there and make some money, so be it. You know you should have made him a formidable offer before instead of trying to lowball him. And if you say him offer you offer him five or four million pounds, it's really more like two or three million million pounds. Because that's how Eddie Hearn rock out. Eddie Hearn don't don't come with a with a formula offer. He be lying, like he said. Well, Ke- Amir Khan to make double what Kell Brook made, and Amir Khan said it was the same offer that Bob Arum offered me to fight Terence Crawford. You know, it's gonna be lies. Eddie Hearn don't do nothing but lie, 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 lie. Now he want to cry about Wilder. Well, offer him a sp- a, 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 sp- a percentage split. Like, why didn't offer him a percentage split last year? We could have had to fight. You don't want the fight. You know, now you you losing, losing uh, you losing you losing grip, you losing leverage. But for this dude to be out here begging Dillian White, man, it's all bad, bro. Like I said, that's like begging the neighborhood hoe, man, to come home with you. Like it shouldn't be that much begging. All you got to do is get some E and J, you know, some Arca Jerk or some vodka, and that's it. Ain't no begging required. You know, but hey, that's the game right there, man. They show you how desperate Eddie is, bro. You know, and if he ain't offering Dillian White good money, he go with Al Heyman. Then what that say? Then the UK fans gonna turn on Dillian White? Oh fuck, Dillian White! He he's a he's a, you know what are you gonna say about Dillian White? Then it's gonna take AJ to come over to Al Heyman PBC to do that, man. Then they gonna turn on AJ. You know, and, and everybody's pressing AJ about the fifty million dollars. Even Dillian White said oh, he should took the fifty million dollars. He don't want to fight Wilder. Now everybody wanna come out and speak the truth now. And we've already been through this truth. We've been in the trenches battling with these these trolls and these clowns about that. The 50 million is real. Now, several people that came out and admitted it. Barry Hearn, uh, Eddie Hearn, Dillian White. All these dudes come out and admit it. Frank Warren, 50 million was real. Now, all of a sudden, you know, people don't want to talk. Oh, that's old news. And this and that. It is what it is, man. But y'all know what it is. Goodfellas Sports TV. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Forget, Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Twitter. Also, reach out to me in the email. If you got a business question, inquiry, sponsorship. Um, in addition to that, don't forget we're doing ma- uh, mailbag, mailbag Saturdays Q and A. Um, will you uh, send me a question or send me a video request, and I just answer it on Saturday in the morning, and afternoon. Um, check out, you know, check my email out to send me any video box related questions. I answer them on Saturday, taking uh, submissions Sunday through Friday. Then the video gets made Saturday. So appreciate everybody that do check in. Don't forget Goodfellow Sports TV. Um, our sponsor, the Hillblaze at the Hillblaze.com. Promo code Goodfellow One Boxing. Get you 18% off of their all natural products from lotion soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. 
Um, the website and promo code is in the description. In addition to that, you want to make a donation to the channel. That link's in the description as well, too. Do your boy one better. Cops on from the Health Blazer. Just share the videos. Help expand the brand. One time for the one time. Y'all know what it is, man. We grinding. It's your boy, CJ Goodfellow. Goodfellow Sports TV. Keep looking out for us. Hit the subscribe button once again. Bell icon button. We're missing the.